Hello and <clears throat> welcome to this video called Canvas Text. Here I have my my HTML5 Canvas element that I've had before. I've colored it green and I see it has some text on it this uh, time. It says input some text and I have a text area down here that I can input text and a little button that says do it. So let me input some text there. Let me put in hello H-E-L-L-L-O Hello there, T-H-E-R-E, -E, and a period. And what I'm going to do now <coughs> is I'm going to click on a little button that says do it. And there it is. It says hello there. Let me clear clear this out. If I keep typing here, for example, let's put a GG and I put do it. It now comes down to a new line. And if I put something else there like uh, how is this, how... Uh, H-O-W is this and we have a question mark here and I click on do it there's another new line every time I click on do it it gives me a new line and it shows the text here okay let's see how this is done uh, let's look at the code first of all what I have is I have the uh, let me bring this guy up here I have the canvas the canvas element which I've had before, which is this guy here, with the height and the width. The ID is C1 for Canvas 1. You can make it any legal uh, uh, ID that you want it to. And then <clears throat> get element by ID, C1. We've done that before. And then uh, my stuff, uh, get context uh, 2D. We've done that before. Now here's what's different. Instead of my canvas dot fill uh, rect, R-E-C-T for rectangle, I have uh, dot fill text okay so this right here this is a, a, a another method of the canvas element and what goes here inside the argument the very first thing that goes in is the text that you want to appear on the canvas element 15 is how much you want it moved over uh, along the X and 15 is how you want it much you want to move down along the Y now what happens is that you see it says input some text here there's the default value right there input some text this is down 15 from the top to the bottom of the text <clears throat> so if I started this at 0 you wouldn't see the text it doesn't mean that the that this I for input would start right here no it goes down to the bottom of where this is so if I started this at zero the text would be off the canvas and I would think it's not working so what you have to do with the Y value and this is very important when you do a fill text is make the Y value large enough so that you will be able to see the text okay let's see what else is happening here on the code what happens here is that I have uh, an input type text and that's this right here this is my input type text and the ID is TA for text area input type button value is do it okay there's the value do it on click do text so let's see what happens when I uh, that's obviously calling a function uh, do text let's see what that is there's the function right there do text my canvas fill style blue that should sound familiar my canvas font now this right here this this is a a new uh, property for the uh, for the canvas it's called the font and the first thing that I tell it whether or not I want it bold uh, or I could have it italic uh, how many pixels I want it I want it 15 pixels high and the font that I want I put the font right in notice there's no commas here there's just spaces now this right here is text this is a variable called text and the document get element by a DTA value or if you recall TA ID right here was this text area so I'm getting the value of whatever was here whatever the user typed in Okay, so and it's storing it in a variable called text. So here's my canvas fill text, just like I had down here my canvas fill text that said input some text. It's now putting into the in, in, into the canvas uh, element whatever value the user put in, 30 pixels from the left, and how much how far down line down. Well, what's line? Line is a variable that's equal to 30. It's equal to 30 pixels. 
what happens is that every time this function is called, line is incremented by 15 more. So that that's what brings this down each time I press do it. If I didn't have that in there, if I didn't have this line uh, is uh, plus equals 15, incremented by 15 each time, then what would happen is that the text would overwrite itself. Okay, so what's new here is that is the is the uh, the my canvas dot fill text instead of dot fill rec for rectangle. What comes first is the text that's going to go in there, and this is inside quotation marks since it's a string. And then the uh, the uh, x axis and the y axis offset. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.